In this video, we would be discussing about differential cost analysis. Included in this video is meaning of differential cost, differential cost analysis, determination of differential cost, characteristics of differential cost, and its applications. Moving on to the meaning of differential cost analysis. It refers to the process of analyzing the different costs, expense, and benefits that would arise from alternative solutions to a particular problem. Now, what is differential cost? Differential cost or expense is the difference between the amounts of relevant cost for two alternatives. Relevant revenues or cost in a given situation are future revenues or cost that differ depending on the alternative course of action selected. It means, it is the change in the cost which may take place due to increase or decrease in output change in sales volume, alternate method of production, make or buy decision, and change in the product mix and many more. So differential cost is the result of an alternative course of action. How do we determine the differential cost? Let's look out with an example. Difference in cost may arise because of replacement of labor by machinery and difference in cost of two alternatives of course of action will be the differential cost. Differential cost may be increase or decrease in cost. For example, when cost, when the work is done by labor, the present cost is rupees 2,50,000. And when the work is done by missionary, the expected cost is rupees 2,25,000. So difference cost from the current situation to a new situation is the differential cost. So in this example, there is a decrease in cost by rupees 25,000. That is 2,50,000 minus 2,25,000. So the decision here would be a replacement of labor by missionary should be implemented by the firm as the cost is decreasing. Why? Differential cost of rupees 25,000 will increase the profits of the firm by 25,000. Now coming to the second example, differential cost from two different alternatives, that is an alternative of running at 70% capacity and an alternative two of running at 90% capacity. If you look into the alternative one, Working at 70% capacity, the sales is 70,000. The cost amounts to rupees 65,000. And the difference between the sales and the profit, the prof, uh, sales and the cost of sales, the profit is 5,000. Coming to the alternative to working at 90% capacity, the sales is 90,000. And the cost of sales amounts to rupees 79,000. The difference between both is 11,000. So profit is 11,000 in case of alternative two. And in case of alternative one, it is 5,000. Now arriving at differential cost and differential revenue, the sales is increased by 20,000, whereas the cost is 14,000. The difference in cost is 14,000, giving to an increase in profit of 6,000 when you increase the capacity from 70,000 to 90,000. So now coming to the characteristics of differential costing. The first characteristic is the data used in differential cost analysis. It is the cost, revenue, and the investments involved in the decision would be used in calculation of differential cost. Differential costs do not find a place in the accounting records. It is done from the financial records. Total cost figures are considered for differential costing and not the cost per unit. Differential cost analysis determines the choice for future course of action. The future cost with adjustment to the historical cost is considered. The next characteristic is it involves the study of difference in cost between two alternatives and hence it is the study of these differences and not the absolute items of cost. The difference are measured from a common base point. 
And when coming to the problem solving, that is choice or uh, decision making, the highest difference between the incremental revenue and the differential cost is the one considered to be the best choice. Now coming to the next concept, process of differential cost analysis. So before we could head to the problems in the next lecture, we would try to understand the process of differential cost analysis. It is made up of three important steps. Step one, calculate the differential cost by comparing the total cost of the alternatives which are available. The step two, computation or compute the difference in revenue in the manner as stated above. Third step, find out the net gain or the loss resulting from the differential cost and revenue variance. Now coming to the last concept of usage or application of differential cost analysis. Differential cost analysis is used in getting prices of products. The optimum price to be quoted through which tended can be one is one of the main usage of differential cost analysis. Accepting or rejecting special orders, whether the work out of additional specific order that comes into the business can be accepted or not. Adding or eliminating products, segments or customers, whether to continue or diversify from any specific business segment or not, can be decided using differential cost analysis. Processing or selling joint products, whether to co-produce or co-sell the products or jointly market the products could be decided using differential cost analysis. Last but not least, deciding whether to make products or buy them is also one application for differential cost analysis. A company can leverage the production facility of others. With this, we come to the end of this video. Thank you.